Hello, hello, hello. I thought it'd be fun to just start from the beginning because we don't start from the beginning anymore. But we're gonna start from the beginning today, honey. Okay, so. <laughs> Ridiculous. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel today. Mm, I can't wait to show y'all what I'm doing. So this is my first time. Um, this hair is from you nice. I just want to say that out in the open right now. Let me give y'all the deets though. Hold on. Let me get out the deets. Let me get out the deets. Let's say this. Why is this a B part? Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know I do not like B parts is not like uh I guess I could say it's not something I would do. It's not my first choice, right? This is a glue lit glueless B part body wave wig. It's 24 inches and it's a hundred and 50 density. Can I wait to put it on my head? Can I wait to put it on my head? 24 inch body way, but we did something different to it because yeah, I really don't feel comfortable in the shirt, but I'm really trying to just step on my comfort zone and I'm not like shaved, shaved for real. <laughs> I'm just snitching on myself. But yeah, we're doing the V part. So I watched a couple videos because like I said, I've never done this before. So I wanted to know exactly what I needed to do. So we're going to get started. I wanted to show y'all my full process because I never do. I always show y'all like when I'm basically just ain't got that much left to do. So a V part. So basically it's a V. I'm going to just show y'all. I watched it and I flat ironed it because I have um, an idea I want to do. So that's why it looks like this, but it is indeed 24 inches. It's very long when it's flat iron. Um, V part, you see it? V part, baby. Chrissy, when's the last time you've had a leave out? <sighs> High school, literally. So we're just gonna part it. I'm gonna part as much as I can, only because I wanna make sure as much hair is out as I can possibly have out. You know what I'm saying? So I think I got it down pat. Like my middle part right here, that's enough on both sides. I don't know how much of the back is gonna be out. We gonna we gonna check. We gonna make sure. Uh, the reason that I wanted to try this out, well, they offered it to me. One, I was like, this is like having clippings except without all the little clips. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, that might be more convenient. So I wanted to try it out because if I like this V part wig, honey. <laughs> Friends who? Because you have to leave your own hair out so you know you're not gonna see me like putting a bunch of glue onto my head or spray. And it's something you could really just pop on. So right now I'm just like, I'm just putting it on for the sake of how my hair is gonna actually look. And my hair's out, so it's probably not gonna do exactly what I want it to do. But I just wanna make sure the V part is V in. Okay, and then leave out. And then this clips too. This clips to like this part of your head, so we'll probably leave out like this much. I mean like I didn't put it on me fully, but it still looks good. All right, so look, here are the clips. They got two clips at the top, little um, slab pieces on the sides, and then one in the middle that you could clamp right there. But what we're about to do is put that back on there like this and part my hair, because we got the flat iron these pieces, y'all. I see people doing their edges, but I don't know. My hair been itching lately, y'all. And I've been my hair been doing real good, but it's been itching. Like when I flat iron my, my natural hair, I don't do baby hairs for real. Unless I'm like trying to look really, really, really nice, I guess, but I don't. Baby hairs are not my thing. I mean, but I don't gotta, I really don't have a choice. I can't flat iron my baby hairs, they're too little. So I really don't wanna put no products into my hair because I just wanna see how it would do if I were to just like wanted to do it real quick. So what we are gonna do, which is probably gonna sound crazy. So I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, right? This is about to be so silly. Actually, no, I think I could do this. So I'm gonna just do one big ponytail, see how this works. All right, I had to go grab my clip, but we just finna like clip it back there. I don't know what I'm doing. Y'all can see the back. My undercut is so bad. Oh, and they sent me a robe, y'all. I need to put the robe on. Hold on, I'm talking about my armpits and stuff. I could've just had the robe on this whole time. And I embarrassed myself like that. I don't know if it's you nice or you nice. I've seen somebody else say you nice, but I've also seen a bunch of people say you nice. So I was like, oh, I don't know, but. Okay, we put in the robe, we got the robe on, we good now. But yeah, y'all seen the back, y'all seen how it looks. Maybe I did too much leave out. Cause it's like, this part is super loose. And when I do this side, it's still gonna be loose. You know what I'm saying? We gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out together. It's okay.
Okay, I'm not really understanding. I think what they sent me was a little too um, big for my head. Cause I could just like running my fingers through it. Like I could feel like the little, just like all the room it has. Or maybe I'm supposed to like bring it up all the way. So it stretches out more. Maybe, maybe we'll just try that. Okay, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's for me um, because like I said, I think that the, the part that they sent me or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I could just feel like in the back, I could feel the little, I like everything else except for that. So I would recommend to just get a bigger size because I was gonna keep some leave out, out but nope, I'm not doing that because no. Um, I'm gonna do just like a little goth girl look or something. Something where like it just lays down. I'm gonna do this part though, because this really gonna tie it all together. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Like, it doesn't look bad. I just think it was a little too big for my head. All right, so I think I got it as flat as I could be. I need to plug in my hot comb. And I might as well plug this in. Cause we just got a lot to do, but it's okay. I thought that this would be easier. Does it, I feel like to somebody that's like experienced and knows their correct size head, then I feel like it would be easy. I would have had this on 10 minutes ago. No, like an hour ago. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. It's okay, cause now I try something new and now I feel like I could just keep on trying, you know? Like, would I get this again? Yes, I would. I would get it in a different um, size though. That's really the only thing. But I'm gonna just plug in all this stuff so it can all heat up. Um, just flat iron like these pieces and stuff. And then style it, I'm excited. All right, y'all, there's some people here, so if y'all hear them, that's just on y'all, I guess. But I decided to um, just wave it. What's called crimp it? It did take me a while. I tried to show y'all some of how I put it on. It really is like, back here, it is very, I could feel it clear as day. It's not tight on my scalp, but that is okay. Because that's really the only issue. Like, everything else is, this hair is beautiful, first of all and looks good and i did like really soft crimps i didn't want to do it like too much you know so yeah this is what it looks like thank you you nice for sending me it would i get it again yes but i would get it a smaller size because this size is just a little too much for my pretty little head once i figured out what i was doing but once i figured out what i was doing i got it so yeah we're good but that's it for this video guys if you want any information to the wig or their company it'll be down below in the description thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up make sure you follow all my social media it'll be at the end of the video and i'll see you guys next time